Hey, what's up guys? Back with another reaction and today we are checking out The Storm by Eric Gale's second track off his new record, The Crown. Not The Crown, just Crown. Um, yeah, I, I, I've i listened to the singles, uh, which are, I believe there were only two. I hope there were only two. <laughs> Otherwise it missed out on some. Um, but I just listened to the first track, Death of Me, which is really cool. It's got this... Um, you know, it's a it's a different feel. Like I like I explained in the videos. You know, it goes outside the box of a, a one four five, which you know is not not new for Eric Gales, but you know it's just impressive to see him do a record after record and absolutely nail the blues sound without you know kind of falling back on that. But enough of me rambling. Let's get on this. It's a longer song, six minutes sixteen seconds, which you know I I don't exactly remember timestamps from the past couple records, but you know. It's on the longer side for Eric Hales and his discography, I feel like. How can you love what I do But hate who I am Somebody give me an answer Cause I don't understand I wasn't raised like that wasn't part of the plan Start off just vocals, that's interesting How can you love what I do But hate who I am mm. Mm. Hey, some horns on this one I love that chord I don't know what chord it is But it's such a classic Eric Gales chord There's a lot of groove to this. Give me an answer, cause I don't understand. I was a ways like that. It wasn't part of the plan. How can you love what I do and hate who I am? Love the rawness to the vocals. Feel the emotion behind that. Classic Eric Gale's been right there. Mm -hmm. 
I love it, he's following the chords there. I also gotta really appreciate the bass groove. Just punch him in and not not lingering on notes. Heck yeah, you know, I'm going out on a fade out. You know, it, seeing this guy live is something special because you can really, you could see the emotion behind it. But I mean, listening to his tracks, you could just hear it. And I, I also, I just love it once again how unique within the blues genre has i mean just unique in general but specifically within the blues genre how, how unique it sounded i really i just i i got hung up on that i want to pick up that guitar back there and go <laughs> if it wasn't 2 a.m i go do it you know pick up the guitar and figure out that that chord but that that chord there's something about it there's a mysteriousness but i mean obviously i'm focusing in way on a chord but it extends to his whole sound there's a it's an ethos around it that nobody else has. Um, and, you know, I mean, I could go to be sad for a lot of artists because they pour their heart and their soul into the work. But, you know, Eric Gale's, you know, is especially uh, the case for that. So, um, yeah, this album is shaping up to be really good so far. And uh, what, one last thing I wanted to mention is, you know, it's, yeah, I... You know, I really appreciated the track that he did with Joe Bonamassa because, you know, you'd see them feed off the energy of each other. But being able to see just Eric Gales or listen to just Eric Gales and Eric Gales only, I feel like that's where the real magic is. And uh, you can really hear that in this track. So let me know what you guys think about the track. Um, subscribe so you don't miss future reactions because I'm doing this whole record. Um, so... Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.